so we're here now, uh, we're standing in front of an open joint that's been ready to, it's been raked out and now it's ready to be cleared up and grouted. So we start off with making like a sausage to make sure that it doesn't, doesn't leak out of the bottom, through the bottom joints. It's, uh, we're making it out of clay. Push it in nicely so then it doesn't, it doesn't burst while we're cleaning it up and pouring. Should be fine. Now we've got to make a bath for, so we can pour the grout in. I'll make a ball. So it's like a little well so it catches all the grout. And then it's like a like a funnel for it. Put that there so then if it's full then the bath won't fall off. Should be ready now to grout it. So just making sure it's nice and smooth and there's no lumps in it so then it's not gonna block the hole. pour it in. Just be careful that it doesn't come out of all these other joints because it could have come out of any ones, even, even behind this wall. What we do is we put a couple jugs in, maybe one or two, and if it's still not full we'll leave it and then we'll go back to it, we'll go to another one. Just so if we put if because if we put loads in at once then then it, it's got a chance of bursting and then it's a, it's a hard it's hard work to clean up it stains a lot of the stone once you've poured it in it's going to start getting harder and harder the longer you leave it so like it starts as liquid and it's going to eventually turn solid which is going to it's going to support the wall a lot better and make it a lot stronger. Start to sit at the top of it now, so you know, you know, just pork it down. Make sure you get get it all down there. Yeah, I can see it sitting at the top, so we need to pull. Slow and steady from now, from this bit. Oh yeah, we've had a leak, so we'll have to climb over there and. Um, Clay it up. Right, so it's not a bad thing that we've had a leak. It just means it's filling, filling nicely as it's coming from. It's coming from the top of the joint. So all we all we got to do is just clay it up to prevent to prevent it from leaking again. It's not a problem. Clay it right to the top this time. You don't need a bath. You'll know when it's full because it sits on the top of the bath instead of like running down the joint. But we've got to make sure it's full by parking it down. We're we'll getting to every crack. But it looks to be full. The grout's full, it filled the bath, so it means the joint's full. And um, so it's, it's only going to get harder and harder now over the days. So it's going to turn, it's going it's to get really solid, it's going to fix the wall to make sure it, it's going to make it really strong. So here's one that we did on Monday. It's going to peel off nicely, because if we leave it, it's going to get harder and harder and it should all peel off in a massive piece. So it's not, it's not made a mess of a stone. Oh, we want them all to be, be like this really. Just peel off in big pieces like that and not all stick together to the wall. All we need to know is get a wire brush on that, get rid of the grout that's stained the wall, but it's not an hard job. And, that, and that's how you grout. <laughs>